following the release of the highly anticipated GTA 6 trailer in December of 2023. Discussions of another beloved Rockstar franchise are gaining momentum. Rockstar Games has established a stellar reputation for delivering high quality games. With its original Red Dead Redemption series and the Grand Theft Auto franchise, a distinction very few entertainment franchises can claim. It's been five years since we last joined the Vanderlyn gang in RDR2, leaving fans eagerly wondering if they'll ever venture back into the Wild West again. While Rockstar Games is heavily focused on GTA 6 right now, there are some new tantalizing hints about the future of the Red Dead series. Red Dead Redemption 3 is likely to be released only after 2025, following the launch of GTA 6. And that's basically what we're covering today. Hey, what's up guys? Zach here and welcome back to VGL. In today's video, we'll be covering everything you need to know about the future of the Red Dead franchise, some rumors, the production, the possible release date, and so much more. If you're excited for RDR 3, drop a like on this video, subscribe with your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any future uploads. So now let's deep dive into some fresh Red Dead Redemption 3 news. So the potential confirmation for the next Red Dead Redemption game actually comes from Roger Clark. That's the actor who portrays the protagonist Arthur Morgan in RDR 2. While responding to some questions on X, formerly Twitter, about the future of GTA 5 and GTA Online, he mentioned the possibility of RDR 3. Now, although he's not currently involved on any RDR related projects, he gave fans hope for the continuation of the series. And then he stated this, I'm sure we'll see RDR 3 one day. When that will happen, I have no idea. Don't count on Arthur's involvement either. I think his story's already been told. Additional hints dropped by Rockstar Games last year suggest that players will be saddling up and gunslinging again very soon. Last year, the CEO of Rockstar Games, Strauss Zelnick, expressed confidence in the development of another Red Dead Redemption game, though he noted it wouldn't be happening in the immediate future. He stated, The new Bond film, that was great. You would like every franchise to be James Bond. There are so precious few entertainment franchises franchises of any sort that fall under that category, but they do exist. I think Red Dead Redemption is one of them. He then added, annualizing non-sports titles runs the risk of burning out the intellectual property, even if it's good. So we take the time to make something that we think is going to be incredibly phenomenal. And we also rest titles intentionally so that there's a pent up demand for that title. So it's like a special event. Now, given this information, it's likely that we'll have to wait a few more years for the next installment of the Red Dead franchise. RDR 3 might be announced after the release of Grand Theft Auto 6 in late 2025, but I guess time will only tell. Really quick, I wanted to pivot to this article over at Rivalry.com, so full credit to them. And it starts off by saying this, an account famous for leaks says that RDR3 is in production. A famous Twitter account renowned for video game and cinema leaks, My Time to Shine Hello, says that the production of RDR3 is definitely happening. While the community reaction was adverse, this rumor has increased fans' expectations and generated hype around the new Red Dead Redemption game. It's also worth noting that this account has accurate leaked dialogue and characters from Marvel films like the Multiverse of Madness, No Way Home, and much more. So they're somewhat reputable. They've even leaked that Hogwarts Legacy 2 is fully in the works. So when this user comes out to claim that a video game is in production, it's probably true. Now really quick, before we talk about the potential release date for RDR3, I wanted to let you guys know that we're actually giving away a PS5 at 80,000 subscribers. So if you want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, tweet me proof that you're actually subscribed, and we will be picking the winner at 80k subs. All this information will be in the pinned comment of this video. Now, let's talk about the release date. When will Red Dead Redemption 3 actually be released? Although eagerly awaited by fans, Red Dead Redemption 3 is still quite a ways off. The game has not officially been confirmed by Rockstar Games or its publisher, Take Two Interactive. However, if Rockstar follows a similar development cycle for their major titles, Red Dead Redemption 3 could potentially be released between 2026 and 2030. This would be approximately eight years after the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 and five years after the release of Grand Theft Auto 6. With GTA 6 expected to launch in late 2025, it seems more likely that Red Dead Redemption 3 won't be released until around 2030. This would mean that the gaming community may have to wait until then to embark on the new frontier with the next installment. The gap between Red Dead Redemption 1 and RDR 2 was also eight years. So given the advancements in console technology and development, we can expect the wait for Red Dead Redemption 3 to maybe even be longer. Now switching topics and talking about the potential story for Red Dead Redemption 3, the very first Red Dead Redemption game was released in 2010, followed John Marston, voiced by Rob Whithoff. In this game, the player is coerced by the Bureau of Investigations agents Edgar Ross and Archer Fordman into tracking down his old members of his former gang. The sequel to the 2010 original, which was the spiritual successor of the 2004 classic Red Dead Revolver, explores the Vanderlyn gang story through the playable protagonist Arthur Morgan. Set in 1899, the game delves into their struggles with the fading Wild West, as they'll be facing off against the rival
evil gangs and government forces. So what might the main storyline for Red Dead Redemption 3 involve? There are suggestions within the franchise that the new narrative could explore the origins of the Vanderlyn gang, focusing on the infamous Dutch Vanderlyn himself. This could position the game as a prequel rather than a direct sequel to RDR2. Although Rockstar might introduce new characters and connections in RDR3, the series could explore the saga of the infamous Landon Ricketts, the renowned gunslinger, or go down a different route entirely with a female protagonist. Either way, nothing is known or confirmed about the next Red Dead Redemption plot. All we know officially is that the Dutch Vanderlyn gang's arc has ended, leaving room for growth and diversity for the franchise. But now, when could RDR3 actually take place? Or Red Dead Redemption 2 marked the end of the Wild West era in the traditional Western franchise. There are numerous directions that Red Dead Redemption 3 could explore in the future. Although official plans for the game have not yet been announced, it's reasonable to expect that it will continue the tradition of previous Red Dead Redemption titles as a largely open world experience. While Red Dead Redemption 2 was set in the American frontier in the Wild West, the next game may venture into Mexico or who knows where. Really quick, I also wanted to jump back and talk about the potential plot and story for Red Dead Redemption 3 with multiple different directions that the game could possibly go. There's an article over at GameRant.com that they covered the five obvious paths for its next story. So the first potential storyline that they could go off of is the Dutch Vanderlyn prequel. So I'm going to jump around these paragraphs for the most information regarding the storyline plot. So it states, just as Red Dead Redemption 2 turned back the clock for a few years, so too could be Red Dead Redemption 3. It could explore Dutch's relationship with Annabelle and the beginnings of his violent feud with the O'Driscolls and how he put together his gang. It would be the opposite of Red Dead Redemption 1, where the goal is to eliminate the still living members of the Vanderlyn gang. It would instead be recruiting them and getting everyone together for the events that will follow Red Dead Redemption 2. Moving on to the second storyline, which would be a Sadie Adler sequel. Sadie Adler is widowed early in Red Dead Redemption 2 story, which transforms her from a housewife to a violent outlaw. So instead of staying in camp like the other women in the Vanderlyn gang, Sadie finds herself going on missions, especially when it involves hunting down her husband's murderers, the O'Driscolls. The third storyline could follow Charles Smith. In Red Dead Redemption 2, Charles tells John and Sadie that he wants to go north, meet a woman, and start a family. This would allow Red Dead Redemption 3 to have a completely different setting than the first two games. The fourth is a Jack Marston sequel. There are those who have gotten attached to Jack from his wholesome moments with Arthur during his childhood and his gunslinging adult days. It seems like Jack Marston's story is already over, but maybe Rockstar Games can come up with something interesting to bring him back in RDR 3. And finally, the fifth option, though perhaps the least popular, which would be for Red Dead Redemption 3 to focus on an entirely new gang. A brand new cast of characters completely independent of the ones that fans met in Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. This would actually make Red Dead Redemption 3 more in line of how Rockstar Games handle sequels, as its Grand Theft Auto games usually have a completely new cast of characters each time. With some cameos to link them together, it's safe to say that many fans would rather see a Red Dead Redemption 3 continue the stories of the characters from RDR 1 and RDR 2. So wrapping up, with all the hype surrounding Red Dead Redemption 3, it's hard to say what direction the story for this next game will actually go for, but I think that's where I'm going to end it today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the future of Red Dead Redemption 3. What storyline do you think they're going to go with for this next game? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This has been Zach with EGL. I'll catch you guys in the next one.